Okay, so now we're going to do some images of the foot. There's three images of the foot that we're going to have. The first one's your AP axial. So this is the same as um, the toes in the explanation where I said you guys have a 10 degree angle for one and a 15 degree for the other. So now we're doing the foot. So it's the 10 degree angle towards the, te towards the heel. Again, if you're struggling to remember between the toes and the foot, which one you do for which, you have more toes than feet, so you do the higher angle for the toes. So 10 degrees. This is aiming at the base of the third metatarsal. So I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to... Okay, it's just all the way over already. That's fine. I'm going to just shift you then just a little bit way about here. And you're not going to be able to see the base of the third metatarsal like you can with your hand when you're at the third MCP. So you're just estimating. You want to have enough light space on top and on bottom so that you're not clipping anything. And get this bad boy collimated close transversely as well. Again, half inch on the sides. And then take your marker. Toes are feet. Well, toes and feet are hung from the toes in the AP axial position, so put your marker where it will be legible as it's hung for the doctor. And that is your AP axial foot. If you happen to pull this and the oblique, make sure you take your angle off your central ray because you go perpendicular to the third MTP for a oblique foot. Rotation again, 30, 45, again, you're internally or medially rotating that leg, not laterally rotating, so it is a medial oblique, perpendicular to the third MTP, and it's typically just about a 30 degree of internal rotation is required for this image, okay? Last projection that we're going to do, and this also, just real quick, back to the oblique, also hung by the toes, so put that marker at the top by the toes. Your lateral projection of the foot is a medial lateral, and what that means is it comes through the medial side of the foot and exit is the lateral side. So I'm going to get this situated for my patient, and then the big thing here to remember, have your patient flex their foot to 90, but be careful that they don't over flex their toes so that they're all cattywampus. This Still centering approximately at the level of the third MTP. Get your heel through the toes in there. I see students pretty frequently uh, clip the toes because they're so focused on getting the heel that they'll go back or they'll go forward and they'll just have just a little bit of this light field off. So just make sure that you have this centered in such a way that you have light field on both sides. And then just as a reminder, this is that weird one with the uh, foot. It's the only piece of anatomy where hanging protocols change. The first two were at the toes. This hangs from the hip. So go ahead and put your marker on there as it will hang. Make sure that foot's flush. Also make sure that this patient doesn't rotate too far over with their hip. Right now you can see these metatarsals are nice and stacked, but if I had my patient rotate a little bit this way, what can end up happening is the base of this foot starts tilting outward and you see the fifth metatarsal anterior to the first. So just make sure again, nice and true lateral, stacked metatarsals and digits aiming approximately at the level of that third MTP.